Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. We've got lots to do. We've got lots to do. We've got the Fell Spirits one that we can turn in here in the living room. In, in the living room, in the inn. Uh, but we're not going to do that one just yet. We'll come back to that a little bit later on. What is that that he is riding? High Lord's Golden Charger. Okay, um, I think that's on a um, off of a raid. I think. I think. It might not be. Um, but anyway, doesn't really matter right now. What we do have, though, is we still have our festive mount at the moment. Um, that down there, what's going on there, that, that will make sense later. We're not going to worry about that right now. So we've got uh, 030 Zeppelin Debris at the moment. Uh, Mysteries of the Light is over there. We're not going to worry about that either at the moment. What we're going to go and do right now is we're going to go and do the Ravager Egg Roundup. We're going to go and get 12 Ravager Eggs from over here. And once we've done that, then we're going to come back and we turn that one in. And then there'll be another thing that we can go and do. This is what kickstarts our cooking. I completely forgot about this. You, you've got to go down there to uh, kickstart the cooking with those quests. Um... So we're going to start our cooking because we're a middle-aged paladin who has uh, lost a lot and we're, we're trying to bring the light to the people. In order to be able to bring the light to the people, we need to do so on a full stomach. You know, food is very important to us. And therefore, we're going to be, um, we're, we're going to be fighting and, and, and we're, go we're going to be learning our, we're polishing our cooking skills as we go along as well. I feel this is extremely important for us to do. Because if we don't polish our cooking skills, um, well, it's, it's just not going to be good enough. It is just not going to be good good enough. So we've got one Ravager egg right there. I don't think you have to get them all as those spawns like that. You can get some of them just as, like, the thingies on the ground. we got these. we got another one over there. These guys do generally get fairly angry. Then you got that one over there, which I'm going to haul in as well. I'm going to put that down like that, and I'm going to try take all of these on all together. But what I'm going to need to do is I need to go back a little bit just to put them in front of me. Heal up. I think we're going to do this all right, actually. They, they are quite tough, this lot, but uh, I, I do actually think we're going to do all right. Because we now do them damage every time we get hurt as well. That does help us a bit. Let's see if we can flash of light our way out of this a bit. There we go. Flash of light our way out. Uh, we've got that. Now, what? Oh, oh, I haven't used this one. Mechanical Grinch. Use him. Get him to come and help. He spends a little while helping. Nice. Right, so we've got all of those. No eggs. I really thought those things dropped eggs. Maybe we do have to go around and grab our own eggs all the way. It might be that we've got to go and grab our own eggs all the way through. But I, I thought range. that some of these actually dropped eggs. There. Take that one up like that. We've got the um, we've got the mechanical Grinch who's helping us. He's going to help us fight. We'll make sure we use him. We've also got the harvester thing as well. That's another one that we want to use. Help us in our battles. So I've got plenty of Ravager flesh. I think there is actually a cooking thing for Ravager flesh as well. That would be good. It would be very useful if that were a thing. You do have, there's a lot of space on the ledge. There, there is quite a lot of space up here along the ledge. I really did think that you got um, eggs dropped from the Ravagers as well. You didn't have to just rely on the spawned eggs on the ground. Sure that some of them did. Have I got that wrong? Well, there's one up there, so we'll go and grab that one a minute. And we'll, we'll go all the way up through here. I'm just going to collect that one like that, and then I'm going to go like that. Um... Throw that down on the ground there. Take these three down very quickly. This is not going to take long at all. And then we've got another one here on the egg that we can grab. Uh, hatchling attempts to flee. Oh, these, these are just the baby ones. These, these aren't even the adults. These, these are just the wee ones. Little tiny ones. That might be why they got no eggs. They're too young for eggs. Okay. Uh, let's fly. Take our corrupted Dreadwing, which will actually turn into uh, something slightly less corrupted. Slightly more festive. Uh, corpse of Voklavos. I can actually, I can resurrect that person, I think. 
Can I do that? There's a corpse there. Uh, redemption. There, like that. I can do it. I can actually resurrect them if I want to. I mean, I'm, for the most part, I'm going to ignore them. But I am offering them a, a, a resurrection right there. Um, so too far the away. Razor Fang Ravager there. I will grab that one. But the babies we don't need to worry about quite so much. So let's drop that down there like that. And then start going after these. And then I've got... Wow. Whoever that was has just helped us out a lot. I need to get closer. Let me take this one down here. They're, they're healing us. Because we because we went and helped them. They're, they're now helping us. And they can take a, they can take them down a lot faster than we can. Right. We'll do that. There. Uh, but I don't get the egg. They, they stole our egg. They stole my egg. And my poor Grinch. My mechanical Grinch has now died. He's not made it. He didn't make it. Oh. Oh, the injustice of it all. The injustice. It's just not fair. Let's see if we can hop over the top and we can grab this one over here. And then let's go again. Hop out over the top. We just need to sort of sail up and down here a little bit now. There's, well, there's a couple of them right here. We'll grab this lot here. We'll take both of these. Um, plus the, the, the wee babby one as well. Now, I thought that there was actually a Razor Fang pet around here somewhere, but apparently there's... Well, there is somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where it is. It's got to be around somewhere. Take you down a minute, and then that one there, and then another one. See, the, the, the full-grown Razor Fangs, they're a little bit more difficult to take. You've got to be a bit more careful with those. A bit more solid. And I knew they dropped an egg. I knew that the adults dropped eggs. I thought away. that they all did. That's the, that's the bit that I got wrong, is I thought they all did. I didn't realise... I, I didn't look properly, did I? I, I didn't read range. it properly. Um, it was... Um, the, the little ones are just the hatchlings. They're not going to have eggs on them. But those big mummers there, they have eggs. It's too far away. So we can take these down, and we may be able to get an egg off of some of these as well. I can see loads more eggs. There's one there, there's one there, there's one over there. There's masses of them. We have this enough. We only need four. We need four eggs. Go on. You perish. No, no egg off of you. Right, there's no egg there, but this one doesn't have anything guarding it, so we'll grab that egg. There we go. Uh, there's another egg over there. Right, well, we'll have to take that one down. We'll, we'll take him down and we'll get the ore and we'll get the egg. I did say that I wanted to do some engineering in this episode. And uh, I did completely forget about it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say that I didn't forget. Uh, I did completely forget. And then I just remembered when I seen the fell iron here. So we will do that. Let's get the egg first before someone else comes along and grabs it. And then we'll get the ore. So we'll back up there like that. Moonwalk backwards up to the egg and we'll grab that uh, to the ore and we'll grab that. So there we go. Got some ore. And then we want to come around this side like this. And there's another egg around here. Plus another one of them. We'll take him out a minute. We've only got the one. Just one little wee hatchling. He's, he's not going to be a problem for us. And I'll stun him like that. I forgot to use these two. I have these two here as well, which I could have used. And I didn't use them. So there's that one out. We've got more Ravager Flesh, which is an, that's another quest. Uh, not another quest, that's, that's a, a recipe. We'll be able to learn that recipe. We'll be able to cook up some Ravager flesh. At least I think we do. I think it's a thing. Uh, there. One more egg. Just one more egg. And there is also pets around here somewhere. Right, there's no egg there. That person there is going for the eggs. Oh, there's loads of eggs here. Masses and masses of eggs. We can do this. We can come in here and we can grab these eggs. I'm going to take that one down there. That is... I don't know what that is. That's something else. Let me take this one down here. Razor Fang Hatchling. So where is the Razor Fang pet when? There's got to be a Razor Fang pet around here somewhere. We've got a pug that's following us around. There is a, there is a pug around here somewhere. Although I think he may have uh, run off and left us. Uh, so we're now in Terracar. We've got Toothy, Muckbreath, and Chuck. 
Those are from the fishing daily quests, I think. You can have one of them. So, I mean, if you use different characters to do it, you can earn more. But where is the Razor Fang pets that are up here? I can hear something. I don't see any pets. And if I look like this, you've got Flayer Youngling. That's, that's what it is. It's a Flayer Youngling. So where are we going to get the Flayer Young? Oh. Ah, right. No, we, we go up. We go up like this. Razorthorn Rise. Is this bit up here? Look. There we go. Look. The, these are these are much more powerful. And there is our Flayer Youngling. Right there. We've got one of those. That is not something that we want to go after right now. We've already got the quest done that we wanted to do. Um, we the, the Zeppelin Debris, we will be working on that one. So let's go back home and we do this. I love this new... This half stone is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. That is how you half stone home in style. That is absolutely fantastic. That's brilliant. Okay. So I'll leave that one there. We're going to go and... Was it? Oh, I thought it was a quest. It's not. It's the star on the top of the tree. Um, we're going to run over to the, the blacksmith over there a minute. And we're going to see if we can actually make anything. So we'll run inside here like this. We've got a little bit of uh, mining in here. We've got smelt fell iron. I've got two of those that I can make. One and two. And then we want to go here into engineering. So elemental blasting powder. We don't have very much in the way of motes of earth at the moment. And we are going to need those. The, the bombs right here, I need the elemental blasting powder. I'm going to make that. I can make two at the moment. So I will make those two. We, you do get four lots for each one. So we have now got eight of those, which is very good. Uh, we need a fell iron casing and a handful of fell iron bolts. So a fell iron casing there, I'm going to make uh, three of those. So that will leave four behind. That's only... Oh, that makes four fell iron bombs. That's good. So that that's uh, three. That'll make 12. Uh, then we also want the handful of bolts. Uh, it's literally, it's just one. It's one bolt. I need two. Yeah, that's, that's just one. So... Um, Let's just make all the rest of them into those. We do all the rest of them into those. Our Outland Engineering is already on level 6, which is not bad going. The Fell Iron Bombs right there, they are still... They're still orange, that is. So that's going to boost us up a little bit higher. We'll finish making all of these. Those will go all the way down, and... Um, I've got enough to make the three of those, which actually is going to be 12 Fell Iron Bombs. That's all we want at the moment, is we want the 12 fell iron bombs. Uh, create all, because that one there, 89 fire damage incapacitates targets in a 5 yard radius. Whereas the ones that we were using, which was the mithril ones, um, this part, mithril frag bomb. Is it that one? It wasn't the frag bomb, was it? 38 uh, incapacitates targets in an 8 yard radius. I think it was actually the mithril frag bomb that we were using. Iron grenade. It was yeah, I think it was. Hey, it doesn't really matter. It it doesn't really matter. Um, go there, make those three. That's gonna take us up to eleven on our outland engineering. So we may have something else. We've still got more that we can learn on that. So we'll be able, once we've got some more materials, we'll be able to make more stuff. We've got four bombs that we can make with the bolts. We've got we enough with the elemental blasting powder as well. So all we need is another four fell iron casings. Those take three bars, so that would make 12 iron bar, a uh, 12 fell iron bars, which is 24 ore. Once we've gathered 24 ore, we got enough to make uh, another 12 bombs, wasn't it? I think it was something like that. Right, we change you over, and then I go to here. I okay, this, this is getting rather full around here. We'll move those bombs up there like that, and I'm going to drop one. Of, I'm, Siphorium PU-36 Explosive Nether Modulator. Um, yes, well done to... Um, uh, uh, hang on. I'm sorry, I cannot remember your name. Um, somebody got it right in the comment section. Somebody did say that it was to do with Marvin the Martian and Bugs Bunny and blowing up Earth. And yes, it was. It was That, that was what you. it was. That's the reference there. 
Um, and it's it's very cool. It's a very cool reference. Oh, Hang on, then. elemental blasting My, powder. You're a tall one. Some of them, I'm sure, some of them sell elemental blasting. Look at this, the bronze tubes right there. Uh, bronze frameworks. If you buy some of these, like the silver contacts and the bronze stuff here, you can actually sell these for a bit of money on the auction house. Some of them, especially like that. Well, maybe not the bent copper tube. Uh, but the bronze stuff you can usually sell. Schematic Ultra Spectropic Detector right there. Uh, seven gold, that one. That needs Outland Engineering level 50. Uh, that's Outland level 40. We're going to leave those. Coarse Blasting Powder, we don't want them. No, nope. we'll, we'll leave the rest. We'll leave the rest of that. I'm not going to worry about that. Off and away. Hey. Lebowski. I'd like to train, though. I've got to get to, I've got to, get to 20. i do 20 on that, the bigger one. Goblin engineer. We don't have goblin engineering. We've got gnomish. we got the ooh, gnomish flame turret. Quickly construct gnomish flame turret at your feet that will nearly always attack nearby enemies. Turret falls apart after 45 seconds. That sounds actually pretty cool. That does sound like it could be pretty cool. Uh, fell iron musket. Adamantite frame. Be seeing you. Okay, so let's, let's not worry about that for a minute. We'll, we'll worry about that a bit later on. Um, but I've got a couple of items here that I now want to go and sell. Uh, well, send it off to my bank alt. So I'll do that a minute. I should probably sell some of this junk that I'm carrying around. So we'll go and do that as well. Speak to Lebowski. Need assistance? Browse your goods. And we will sell off some of these items here. So that one needs to go. Peon Sleep Potion. Strong alcoholic beverage. We might try that in a bit. Uh, major Mana Potion. Those are... Not normally any good for anything, really. Uh, we get rid of that. The smoked talbuk. Get rid of that. Rusted musket. That can go. Uh, the agility one doesn't actually work for us, but that we're not necessarily going to get rid of it, though. Um, metal there. Decoded message. Corrosive ichor. Oh, the Shatterstone pick. An axe. Yeah, that's, that's no good to us. Also serves as a mining pick, but it's still no good to us, so we'll get rid of that one. Um, blended bean brew. Now, some of those holiday things, you do actually, there is achievements for, um, learning You have them. a great day now. That one we've learned, so we just want to delete that one. That one's no good to us. If you've already learned the toy and you get another one, it is utterly useless keeping it. It doesn't do anything at all. The candy cane there, we can learn that one. We will eat the blended bean brew. We've got the holiday cheese wheel as well. That's another one that I'd like to munch down on. Uh, Anchorite Relic. That'll be for a, a little bit later. Um, we'll pop that up and that. We've got our Perky Pug outfit. We've got the Wand of Holiday Cheer. Uh, I think we'll just get rid of that one. That one just makes everybody laugh. So we'll, we'll get rid of that. We don't actually need to be carrying that one around. So now we've got a bit more space in our... This, this is what I wanted. I want a bit more space here. These here, though, the Wintervale cookies, these are quite good. And we we might be able to... Have we, did we learn those? Did we learn the Wintervale cookie? Winter... We've got the Wintervale eggnog. But I don't think we... We didn't learn the cookie, did we? Winter... Okay, it's not on there. Old world recipe. Uh, what about cookie? Cook... E... Gingerbread cookie, that's the one there, because it makes... I think, what? In Winter Vale, that one was a gift. So that was a gift, that wasn't actually the one here. This one is different, with the small eggs and holiday spices. That's a different cookie altogether. So this one was a gift that you can't actually make, which is a bit of a shame, because that one's quite cool. It's um, the seven, increase all stats by seven for an hour. That's actually a pretty good one to get. That's a, yeah, it is a bit of a shame that we can't use that one. Right. Change into our reindeer, and we want to head back over here. We can turn in this quest over here with the Ravager Egg Roundup. And then once we've done that, then we, the, the follow-on quest, that starts to take us over to the zone uh, over there where we also do the Zeppelin Debris one as well. We do two at the same time. It'll make it a lot easier for us. Right. Talk to me. Talk to me. You have those eggs yet? The gassy stomach grumbles in anticipation. In order to have great cuisine, you need to have great ingredients. And these eggs look great. I've just finished cleaning off my frying pan, so you're more than welcome to join me for a meal. Ravager egg omelette. Increased stamina by eight. That's kind of an alright one. Those eggs are superb. 
Do you, what do you say we kick it up another notch? A side of bacon would round out the meal perfectly. And I know just where to get it. This place is littered with hellbores. Of course, there's no one here to inspect and tenderize the meat, but we're in luck. Legassi rummages around his pack and produces a flask. This wasn't made to for use on pork, but cooking is as much about improvisation as anything else. Keep it real! Okay, we gotta purify some hellbore meat. So let's go. We, we need to now find the hellbores. And what we can do is we can go here with the hellbore. And we can go here with the hellbore. That is. Oh, can we get that one over there as well? We might be able to get that one over there as well. Because they get damaged when they're attacking me. Right, he's he's now he's he's now uh, uh, attacked and um, angered, but yeah, because they get damaged when they're attacking me, they stay attacking me for a lot longer than they would otherwise. So let's just um, keep going with this. You can do this. I don't have now point. that one there. Uh, sprinkle over tainted hellborn meat. Oh yeah, I just do that once I've got the meat. So I I, um, I kill them first, then I loot them, and then it's after that I, I can just uh, pick up the meat. In theory. I think that's how it works. All right, let's take you down as well. So we've got three of them right here. Three tainted hellbore meats. I need more than that. I need more than three. Uh, where is the the bits? There's somewhere else. Right. I need to get closer. There's one there. That one's already in. He's he's angered. We've all, we've already upset that one. And I'll pull that one over that way, and then I'll go to you. And I'll haul you in as well. So there's four of them. There's four of them. Right now. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. So I keep these four on me. And I'm going to head over this way a little bit. Um, go through there. I wanted, I wanted to try and get five. I wanted to get a fifth one in here. I don't think I'm going to do it though. They're, they're too far away. There's one over there. But he's, he's too far away. That's no good. Let's try doing that a minute. Let's see what that does. That just, yeah, that, that, what that does is with the extra dodge and stuff, it increases the chances of um, getting the shield thing to activate, which is really cool. That's what we want. We want the shield thing to activate frequently. Right, there's seven. I got one. And, what was that? Uh, just need the one more. It's just you. Far away. You are the last one, and then I'm going to get eight purified hellbore meat. You sprinkle that over it like that. Purify hellbore meat. There, we've done one. And get you as well. I'll do another one there. There. See, I'm I'm doing I'm multitasking. I'm actually multitasking. Who would have thought that such a thing was even possible? So there we go. We will just very quickly do this. We got three more, and and two more, and then you can see those things coming. The uh, crust bursters coming up out of the ground. They are. Um, I'm pretty sure there's also a quest to go and get some of those. So there's the hellbore bit. We've done that bit. And then we can go running over this way. We still haven't got any bits for the Zeppelin. We've got to do... That's, that's another thing that we need to do. We need 30 bits for the Zeppelin. What's up? What's up? You were successful in purifying the hellboy meat? Hmm. This looks edible. If spiced properly. Just don't tell Screed where his breakfast came from, okay? Uh, that gets us 11 strength for 15 minutes. That's... Ooh, that actually, that's pretty good. That hellboy bacon one, that's pretty good. And there we get recipe buzzard bites. And that is the very first bit for Outland cooking. Screed says he like it says his flying is as smooth as butter. I think butter fingered is more like it. Take a look at the wreckage over there. He calls it a rough landing. Sure, we got a shot at it, but I'd be willing to cut him a little more slack if he didn't brag about his piloting skills so often. I think I'm gonna make him a batch of wings to drive the point home. To the east in the Valley of Bones, you'll find bone stripper buzzards. Their wings are plump, juicy, and perfect for my needs. Hurry back! Right. We need to hurry back. We need to go and see. So we, we can ignore the, the, the hellbores now. We need to head over this way. So uh, they're all the way over there. Plus, we've also got a load of bits now strewn around on the ground. So all we got to do is keep an eye out for these bits. on And there is the first of the bits. So we just start gathering up all of these different bits. There, Zeppelin debris. We, we've got to get 30 of these, by the way. 30 of these bad boys. So there's another one. You are mounted. You're still mounted. 
Uh, if I go over the top of it like that, and then I go festive holiday mount. You are mounted. Unmount. You should unmount. There. Right. It's now unmounted. And then if I come down here, I've got bone stripper buzzards. I got one up there. I need to get closer. If I can get a bit closer to him. There's one coming down, and we got one right here as well. I can take these two out, plus I've got a uh, um, bit of Zeppelin debris right behind me as well. So that'll be a nice, quick, and easy one. I need 12 plump buzzard wings. Now, I don't remember if this one drops one off of every buzzard, or if some of these are a little bit scrawny. Uh, right, well, we didn't get one off of there. So it would appear that some of these buzzards are not up to scratch. We need plump buzzard wings. Therefore, we need the buzzards that have been well fed. We don't want scrawny little buzzards that are no good. We don't want scrawny buzzards that haven't been eating well. We need buzzards that have been feasting on the flesh of the fallen and have grown fat, juicy, and plump. Yeah, uh, that, that might be easier said than done, especially considering that there is someone else around here who is also after the same thing. Let, let, let's... let's no, we're not close enough to get that. So we'll, we'll grab that one. There's an adder right there. I'm going to leave that adder, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go... I'm going to uh, resummon up... Where is he? Not in the adventure guide. We want this one. Where's our pug? We had our perky pug. We, we want to have that one. Summon. Empowered mana fiends. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Where do you get that from? Um, drops from pug in the grand. Okay. Right, well, there's our perky pug, and we, we, we need to apply his Christmas costume again. I don't know why the Christmas costume disappeared. Merry Munchkin costume, dress up your perky pug. There you go. There he is. He's now all dressed up. He's very happy. So he's going to follow us around again. We're going to wander over here, and... Yeah, see, th there's that guy over there, and he, he's, he's attacking all of these buzzards. It's too far away. And because he's a hoardy, I can't actually get him but I can do that I can go and steal this kill this is my kill I will have this one see if it was two alliance people you'd both be able to attack and loot it but because he's a hoardy um, it, they, they still go gray we got a plump buzzard we finally found a buzzard that was fat enough to provide us with what we need it took a bit of looking that was only the first one we need another 11 of those yet this could take us a little while um, right there's three fell iron ore. Remember I said we needed 24 fell iron ore in order to be able to make some more bombs. I haven't used the bombs yet. That's another thing I need to do. It's another thing on my to-do list. So let me fly over this way. We want to get a few buzzards. That's, that's what I want next. I want, I want to gather up a few of these. So I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to grab a few of these. I'm going to do... Uh, that actually I'm gonna put that down there and I'm gonna gather up some more and then I'm gonna go I'm out of range. down here a bit and I'm gonna get that one and then I'm gonna get that one over there and now I'm gonna die no I'm not no I'm not no I'm not I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this just fine because I'm now gonna pop both of those cooldowns I'm also gonna pop a frag bomb see how that goes Ooh. okay that's not going well. Flash of light on there. And do that one as well. Okay. That's, no, this is good. This is good. We, we've healed back up again. We're doing all right. We can do this. No need to panic. We've got plenty of the shield there. The, the shield is, is recharging. And we can keep it in. We've already had a couple go down. Shield up again. Shield up. I can heal again now. That's good. I don't have a target. Okay. This has actually worked really well. That, that was nice and easy. It was nice. Two? <laughs> okay, the, the, it would appear that the buzzards around here don't eat well. They really don't eat well at all. They struggle to find food, these poor buzzards do. I, I feel sorry for them. I really do. It's you know, too far scrawny, away. scrawny little things that just can't get enough to eat. It, it ain't right. It ain't right. So, as it's the season to be jolly and kind and, and so on, what we're going to do is we're going to put them all out of their misery. I'm out of range. I feel that is being jolly and kind. 
Okay, we're going to put them out of their misery. They need never worry again. They'll never have to worry about going hungry. So hopefully, out of these three bad boys right here, one of them will be any good. Uh, but if you look closely, you can see they've got two heads. These things are two-headed buzzards. Seriously. Like, they're, they're weird. They've got two heads. Two heads are better than one, apparently. Um, I need yeah, I'm not so sure about that. But it had to... Ooh. See, I tell two of them were nice and plump. Fat, juicy buzzards. This is what we want. Yeah, I'll, gra I'll, I'll grab that. I, I'm, I still need another 20 pieces of ze Zeppelin debris. Plus, we need seven of these plump what's me not -its. So there's that one there. Some more Zeppelin debris. When he crashed his Zeppelin, he did a good job of it, didn't he? He really did. He, he, he really went right across the countryside with his Zeppelin. Really smashed it down and, and spread the whole thing out. Big time. So we've got... Uh, let me just grab that one. But look. Look at this two-headed buzzard. Seriously. Two heads. Right there. It's, it's very weird. It's, it's a very weird thing, having two heads. I'm not really sure that I would want two heads. It, 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 it's... Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's a bit disconcerting having two heads, I think. Um, I'm going to go and grab a bit more of the debris over here. And then we'll turn around. I don't want to get too close to that lot. There's, I'm not going to try and fight those if I don't have to. Um, so just that one piece of debris there. I've got two buzzards over that way. Which I can pick. There's another buzzard up there. There's actually a couple of buzzards up there. I'm going to leave those buzzards. I'm going to worry about them. Uh, that guy's off after something else now. Or unless he's a different... I think that might actually be a different guy. Uh, and then... I'm going to do that. And that. So that I've agitated those two. And then I'm going to go over here. I've got a buzzard down there that I want to um, just irritate a minute. Like that. And then that one's going to be irritated anyway. And then I've got one down there. And why are they coming in for me? They, they shouldn't be coming in for me. I've already irritated these buzzards. Just going to heal up a minute. How did he manage to steal them off of me? That's what I want to know. I pulled those buzzards and then he went and stole them off of me. That's, that's a cheek, that is. That's, that's an absolute cheek, that is. I think it was because he used an AOE over them and because I don't, I hadn't actually physically attacked any. Um, that's what did it. But we got one more plump one there. These poor buzzards. Seriously, th these buzzards have been suffering. Type, it, it, it's not been kind to them around here. It really hasn't. You know, they, they've really, really struggled. And all, of the, they're just skin and bone. We're really struggling to find some decent, um, you know, fat buzzards. It's, it's a genuine struggle. You wouldn't have thought that it would be such a thing, but it is. It is. It's, it's, it's a serious problem. Um, and there should be a link down below where you can go to www.savethewarcraftbuzzards.com. And it, it basically what we've got right now is a massive famine uh, that is killing off this rare species of buzzard. And it, it, it's making life really, really difficult for them. And... We don't want that. We, we, we need to save the buzzards. So donate now while you can. Uh, get, you, you can send as much gold as you like. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll start putting meals out for the buzzards. That way we can fatten them up. And then when we want to come and harvest them, we'll have plenty there. Hashtag don't believe anything I've just said. Because uh, there isn't actually a link down below. And um, yeah, uh, 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 um, it, it was some kind of obscure joke. Um, I just don't want angry people now telling me that there's no link and you're trying to steal our money. No, I'm really not. I, I, I'm really not. There is no link. There is no link down below for you to donate gold in, to, to help save the Warcraft buzzards. There is not any link, okay? It was all a falsehood. It was all false. I lied. I'm sorry. I'll do it again. Probably fairly soon. But I'm sorry at the moment. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it says we can grab another one over here. We got three of them. There's another one. And right, if I pop that down there and then I go like this, we should now. There, I can also do those two. 
And I can heal up. And I've got four shields here. I've still got eight pieces of Zeppelin debris to get. And I've got six plump buzzard wings. We've got four buzzards right here. How many of these are fat and juicy? And how many of them still need fattening up? This is the problem. What we're going to do with the, with the money that we get from this um, this charity drive that we're doing is we're going to go over to... Uh, what's it called over there? Uh, we're going to go over to Thralmar over there. Thralmar, Thralmar. One, just one of them. And we're going to kidnap some orcs. We're, we're going to kidnap some hordies. And then we're going to bring those hordies back over here. And we're going to stake them out on the ground and let the, the let the buzzards feast. We, we'll probably be kind. We'll, we'll kill the hordies first. We're, we're not going. We're not going to have them there be, being eaten alive. We're not, we're not sadistic. Um, so we'll, we'll stake hordies out on the ground. We'll, we'll gather up some dead hordies and and stake them out on the ground, and then we we'll feed those to the buzzards, and then that'll that'll help fatten the buzzards up in no time. They'll get really plump, and and it'll be it'll be wonderful. It really will. It, it'll be absolutely awesome. See, you got that guy there who's who's busy using an AOE. Um, I think it's very rude. I think it's very, very rude him doing that. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to gather up these three here. And I'm going to take these three down a minute. Like this. There, go on. Take them down. There. Now, how many hordies have you been feasting on? Look, see, you've got a hordie over there who's busy slaughtering hundreds of these poor buzzards for no reason whatsoever. And there's no thought for conservation or anything like that, or even a decent meal with the, 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 the plump, juicy bones off of these buzzards. We've got two off there. Two! They've been feasting on tasty hordies. They've had lots. So, you know, I, I just feel it's, it's poetic justice that this hordie who's running around slaughtering innocent buzzards will get his comeuppance and he will be staked out onto these bleached bones right here and his bleached bones can join them. How's that? Does that sound good? I, I think that sounds very good. All round, um, it, it's just it's just justice. It really is. And and then the buzzards will, you know, they'll get nice and fat. That they'll have good living here, and also then they'll make good pie. Um, we'll, we'll be able to get. We'll, we'll have nice, tasty, plump buzzard wings, and we'll have good pie. That's that's the important bit here. Is pie okay? Pie is always important. Pie is very it's important. It's too far away. Let me get you a minute. And I'll do that. And I'll do that. Let me get you down as well. And then i got one over there who I'm going to really irritate now. And he's going to come and attack me. Like that. I'm out of range. Okay, i got three of these. I need three plump buzzard wings. How many of you use a fat? How many of you use a fat and juicy and are going to provide me with everything that I need? All the sustenance that we could hope for. I'm hoping that one of these will do it. We need to hurry up because I've actually run out of time for today's episode. We're still doing short episodes, by the way, just in case you haven't guessed. Uh, and there we got two. Ooh, we got two of them. We got two, and we got a vindicator belt of the Aurora. That poor buzzard. That's that's why he was so fat. He had it was the two wings came off the same buzzard. He he'd be, he'd stuffed down a hordy, and that hordy had stolen that Aur belt of the Aurora off of an, an innocent Alliance soldier. Who had done nothing wrong whatsoever, and that horde had gone along and killed him. And it, there was no need for that. It, there was just no... It's such senseless violence. It really is. Right, you, Bone Stripper Buzzard. Prepare to meet your maker. And you over there as well. There's another one over there. I'm, I'm going to get that one. There, like that. Uh, right, we, we, we've, we've got several, and... Starting to reach the point where I might die. Um... I don't think that this is it's really a good away. thing, so I'm going to heal that one up. No, I'm not. I'm just going to be stunned instead, and I'm going to die. Hey, they're, they're behind me. They're behind me. Do that. Okay, do that right there. No. No, 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 no. Do that right there. There. No stuns. No stuns. Stuns are me. There. Flash of light. Flash of light like that. And then do that one. Nope. Don't do that one. Get stunned instead. Um, this isn't going well for me. I can do this. I, I can take them down. There we go. There we go. Right. Uh, I, I don't know why was, I know why they're so angry. I know why they're so... Is it because of the hordies? The hordies have been here and they've been really upsetting them. Calm down, buzzards. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look, I'm here now. I'm here to rescue you. See? I'm, I'm here to rescue... Two? We've got two. Oh. I only needed one. We've got, we've got all the ones that we need. Look, look, 
Look, there they are. There they are. The, the buzzards. They're laid out in all their glory. I'm going to do that. The buzzards. The buzzards, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, plump buzzards. We got lots of them. Okay. Now what we're going to do is... That's ready for turning. I'm going to go... I'm actually going to go and turn this quest in. We've got these two quests over here to turn in. Um, we'll go and turn these... Actually, do we want to... I am running out of time. I've, I've seriously run out of time. Okay, no, we're not going to. We're not going to do that now. We're, we're going we're to hearth in style instead. So we're, we're going to hearth back to the inn. In style. Look at this. Look at this. This is doing it in style. This is. I love this hearthstone. I really do. It's brilliant. Right, anyway, I have got no time to do any more now. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We will collect on the quest in our next episode. And we'll have a look at doing some cooking. And we'll have a look at doing some other stuff as well. And it's going to be great. Uh, but we'll do that next time. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.